profiles are so important. They contain an incredible amount of information about the most important fundamental pieces of your infrastructure. And principally among those is the node. But you also get an admin console. Every profile will give you a node and it'll give you an admin console. And then separately, it will give you configuration information. Now, these are just three areas, one, two, and three, but the profile actually contains a whole lot more information. The configuration will also contain information about cells and clusters and other good information. Now, one thing you cannot do is this. You cannot have three nodes. You can't do n node one and somehow node two and then node three. But you also can't do this either. You can't have node two or three or so on listed like that. If you want to have multiple nodes, you must create multiple profiles. And indeed, you want multiple nodes and you want multiple profiles because that's how you take advantage of multiple cores on sockets. So if you want to have two nodes, imagine this one is called node one and this one is called node two then you need two profiles and again traditionally this whole thing would have been on a single computer without multiple cores but now that we have multiple cores you would typically have one profile here and another profile here and these would all be running on the same single operating system some virtual machine or some physical machine of some kind and in fact once you do that once you have multiple nodes listed like we do then you have of course a cell and what's interesting is that the cell is organized by the deployment manager and what's really interesting about that is the deployment manager is itself a profile so when you create a cell one of these must be the deployment manager and that is how you get the cell to be created. Now, another thing to keep in mind here is that, so the profile to the node is a one-to-one -one relationship. You can only have one profile that creates a single node. You, it's one profile, one node. It, it, no other direction, no other multiplicity on the two ends there. It's one profile to one node. But you also have the same thing happening with the cell and the deployment manager. So there's only one it's a one-to-one -one relationship between the cell and the deployment manager. It's only one deployment manager in a cell. Now, taking all of that together, it's interesting to note that when you create a cluster, you are really creating a connection between the two nodes. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. If you open up your profiles folder, we go into say the SPSS profile, and then we look at the list Look at all these files and directories here. These are critical, critical things. Go into ports, for example, and you will see a list of ports. Now here, the WC, or Web Container Administrative Host, <clears throat> this is running port 90, 9061. You could go to a web browser and open up port 9061, and you would be able to administra administratively control this particular profile, which is why it's listed this way. And because the deployment manager is also a profile you could do exactly the same thing for DM profile go down to ports.txt and take a look at this it's running on port 9043 which should look very familiar because when you and I were looking at these nodes in the tree and all of the web GUI interface it's running on port 9043 and also from an administrative standpoint you can go into the bin directory do an LL and you could do a grep for node and then you would see that let's do a case insensitive search i'll show you why because you can clean up nodes so if you need to get rid of a node that somehow didn't go away there it is and you can start and stop nodes you can do different things in the deployment manager than you can do um, in an actual node so if i wanted to go to spss profile and do that same uh, let's go into the bin folder and do an ll and grep for start for example or as we were doing before just node you can see you can rename your nodes you can start the nodes you can stop the nodes you can sync nodes 
things you would normally do from a web interface, but if you don't have access to the web interface or you don't know what the port is, of course you could look up the port now that you know how to do that, but you can do these things from the command line as well. And what I was talking about earlier about some things you can do from nodes and some things you cannot, uh, what, I, what I meant was if you go back a level here into the de deployment manager's profile and you do an LL and you do a grep for MG or M I should say, uh, you, you have to go to the bin folder first, then you can see you can start the manager and that means the deployment manager. So you can start and stop the deployment manager from this deployment manager profile and only from a deployment manager profile can you do a run the start and stop shell commands. So this area, this folder, this directory is a really good place, the, the profiles directory, is a good place to spend some time just looking around at what are the options. And you can also get a good idea, let's go into here, you can also get a good idea of, for example, what are the installed applications. So that could be useful in all kinds of scenarios. And you notice you'll be going into the core cell, right? We talked about the configuration folder would contain this information. And then there are three different ear files or enterprise application archives that are living inside this particular, uh, inside this particular profile. And you'll notice that what's in here is different from what is running in a different profile. So if I go into SPSS and I go into, like we did before, we go into its installed apps, then you will see that in its core cell, because that's the name of our cell, it has different ear files, different applications are running in it. So, and another thing I want to just, we said we saw this earlier, but I want to point it out again. If you, if you go into the servers directory, you can list out all of the servers that are running on this profile. So again, the profile is extremely important and it's it is kind of the heart of the distribution of a distributed system.